that state of perfect health, that state of infinite bliss. And this is what we want to do with essential oil. Not only we will address the health concern of the person, not only we will balance the dosha, help to balance the dosha, but the specific use of the specific essential oil and specific application of the essential oil for this unique person. The essential oil will enliven that field of pure consciousness within and will radiate Bausch aromatherapy, balance the dosha and bring perfect health and happiness. What you, you need to do when you smell the, the essential oil, don't try to recognize what oil it is. Just be with the fragrance and see what it does to you. Is it peaceful? Is it enlivened, giving energy? Pleasant. This is what you need to know. Just your experience when you when you spell it, not the intellectual knowledge of yes, I know what it is. Essential oils are the volatile substances of aromatic plants and herbs. They are very powerful su substances, and are able to influence our physical, mental, and emotional well-being in a very profound way. Essential oils hold in concentrated form the essence or the basic nature of the plant. They contain the life-giving energy of the sun. Of the 500,000 to 1 million plant species in the world, only 18,000, that's 3.6%, contain essential oils. The average yield of essential oil from raw material is 1.4%, which means that about 70 kilos of plant material is required to produce one kilo of essential oil. So for lavender, you need 168 kilos to produce one kilo, and for bergamot, you need 200 kilos to produce one kilo. What's very important is that only slow distillation at low temperatures and using organic plant material, only that will produce a high quality therapeutic grade of essential oil. How do they work? How do they have an immediate and profound influence? The answer lies in the nature of the sense of smell and the nature of the essential oils themselves. The sense of smell takes place through the approximately 10 million olfactory nerve cells of the mucous membrane of the root of our nose. This is the only location in the body where the central nervous system is in open and direct contact with the outer world. These olfactory cells are actually brain cells. The sense of smell is connected directly to the limbic system, one of the oldest parts of the brain the seat of emotion, memory, creativity, and motivation, which also regulates the autonomic nervous system that governs such functions as breathing, heartbeat, and digestion. All these functions are directly influenced by fragrances without interference of the conscious mind. That means that even before we consciously perceive a fragrance, it has already affected us on the subconscious level. It has influenced our emotions, our heart rate, our breath rate, and so on. Because essential oils operate from the fundamental level of nature's intelligence, they are able to address disease from the deep levels of the mind and emotions, the level that is at the root cause of many diseases. When we apply an essential oil to the physiology, the innate intelligence of that particular plant resonates with and awakens the inner intelligence of our mind and body. This enlivens the body's own self-healing mechanism and restores balance and wholeness to the mind, body, and heart. From the perspective of Maharishi Ayurveda, the balancing effect of essential oils is due to their ability 
to increase the flow and absorption of prana and enhance the creation of ojas. Maharishi wanted us all to use all the different modalities of Maharishi Ayurveda for perfect health and maximum speed of growth towards higher state of consciousness. Through the use of Maharishi aromatherapy, we can enliven the body's own self-healing mechanism and restore wholeness and balance in the body, mind and emotions and soul in a very easy, pleasant, yet profound way. So I want to just close with the quote from Maharishi. The ability to metabolize all sensory experience into the experience of bliss is the ability for prevention. All the five channels of perception, the five senses, must be so clear that all the experiences through any of the five senses always inspire bliss. Marishi. J. Gurudev. <coughs> What is actually in each essential oil which allow us to define for which health concern it is going to be the right essential oil and for which dosha it is going to pacify? All the essential oil when well selected and well applied are creating not only these results for the health and the dosha, but I enliven the incredible power of the bliss within each one. And this is that ocean of bliss which is going to overflow and bring again the perfect health in everyone's awareness. So the chemical compounds in the same way that in each food you have some nutrients, like there is a vitamin and also things, vitamin A, vitamin B, B12 and also things, in the essential oil we have some compounds and we call them the chemical compounds, aromatic molecules. And they are scientifically well known, all those compounds. And they give specific properties to the plants and to the essential oil. So, here is a list of the main chemical compounds. I will not go into it now, but just to give you an idea. So when you take an essential oil, you have within it several, many compounds. And some of the family of the compounds are the monoterpene, the ketone, the ether, the coumarine, the ester, the aldehyde, and all these lists. And each of those compounds is a family, and under this family, there is m many different uh, compounds. Like, for example, vitamin, you have vitamin A, B, and also things. In the same way, in the monoterpene, you have different quality of chemical, and they each have their own property. So you have the general property, as they are relaxing, balancing, opening, or stimulating. That's the general property of the chemical compounds, but they have very specific property. So some of them will be reducing kapha. For example, if someone has some problem with a, a flu or a cold, and if you smell some eucalyptus, you feel immediately that there is some release because of the property of the compounds that they are, that are in this essential oil, which are not necessarily in another essential oil like sandalwood, who will be more like cooling, refreshing, transcending. So this is due to those compounds that uh, we are able to uh, address the health concern and balance the dosha and enliven bliss for every unique single person. Thank you so much for your attention. I mean, <laughs> <what>? <laughs>